Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and on this channel I do Photoshop tutorials. In today's video I want to show you how to sort out troublesome skin on your image. So this is image before and this is after in few simple steps using frequency separation. So I'm going to show you how to build frequency separation and then how to work with it for the best results. I'm going to remove this group at first and quick explanation what is frequency separation it allows you to split image into two separate layers on one one layer will contain mostly color the other layer will contain mostly the texture which allows you to be a little bit more precise in what you want to do on the entry level retouching so what i'm going to do two layers so i can duplicate this layer or i can create a stamp on the top uh, if you have some layer above or some other layers you will press command or control alt or option shift and e to create the layer so i'm going once again i have layer command option shift and e i turn this into other layer and this layer will be named low which will be responsible for color, but not only color. That's why I prefer to name it low. Then command or control and J and the other will be high. And now let's do what we have to do on them. On the low layer, I'm going to apply some blur. So I'm going to filter Gaussian blur, blur Gaussian blur. And I want to blur this out till the level I won't really see the details. So I still see the contours, but not the details. For this image, that would be somewhere probably starting at 8 pixels. And we can go up to probably 12. Over that would be a little bit too much. So I will go with 10. Seems quite universal for this image. And you need to remember, it really depends on the size of your image. If your image is bigger, uh, or details will be bigger, this value will be different. Then on high layer, we want to extract as much texture as possible. So I'm going to image and then apply image. As the source of the layer, we have to choose the low layer. So I'm going to choose low layer as the layer here and then blending. Everything uh, here is super important. Right now, as you can see, I work with 8 bit image. So then the blending will be subtract scale to offset one to eight and that's it we are ready to hit ok though if you have number 16 here so if you work with 16 bit image that will be add scale to offset zero and this box will be checked so you have to see what i see right now then it means it's correct so subtract and i see it and now i can also give you some intake to that because many people say on this layer we have only the texture but as you can see uh, we also have some color and it's clearly visible on this layer uh, can go through some of the color it's not a problem though with this layer i'm going to switch blending mode from normal to linear light and we can start sorting out our skin i'm going to start with this high layer and I want to clean with clone stamp, which is a good option, and hard edged brush, hard round brush, sample current layer. Why hard brush? Because we don't want to lose too much texture, we don't want to make the texture blurred, and working with hard brush allow us to do it. And because of this, um, this is really good entry level retouching for your personal image. I don't say frequency separation is professional technique. But this allows you to solve issues with really troublesome skin quickly. And this is most important. You when you don't really want to have when you don't have time to spend the images too long, you want to uh, solve some issues with the skin quickly. This is the good way of doing. And when you have troublesome skin, as this one, you just go very fast on the top layer. You can't really do much on the low layer right now. And if you do, it won't look good. So first of all, you are solving issues with this top layer. And soon we will go to the layer below. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. We could polish a few more things here. It's already a little bit better. 
and once you sorted the main issue which is all of the spots and everything you can go to the low layer and for example use a patch tool or a little bit of blur so with the patch tool you can choose the patch tool and solve some of this color issue here if you have the lines like this you can easily match this with some other color and this is probably most secure method to not really uh, go crazy and get some really uh, weird results but it helps you to even out some of these uh, skin issues the other method uh, with which you also have to be careful is adding a little bit of blur so to do this i'm actually going to duplicate this low layer to be a little bit less destructive and then go to filter blur and gaussian blur and i'm not applying too much many people would go with like 30 but it will completely filtrate your skin i would go with 10 the same value as i had before or 15 10 15 15 maybe even too much so 10 so a look how it goes still filtrating this but it will help us a lot then i'm going to create mask here and invert this mask and then with white color of the brush i will paint around the areas that had these harsh shadows and harsh transitions to smooth them out just a little bit and then that would be it so let's put this to the group you can see before after of course there is a little bit more ways of working with frequency separation because below this high layer you can for example create an empty layer choose the clone stamp in this case you can switch this into some soft edged brush if you have one or you can choose the one that photoshop offer current below in this case and then you can solve some other color issues here so as you can see there is many different methods of working with frequency separation i try to give you as many methods as possible in very short period of time uh, just to let you know how you can solve certain issues and i always say you really have to be careful with frequency separation because it's not the best technique when it comes to the professional retouching but for personal images or simple portraits it's absolutely great technique that can give you great results so thank you for watching make sure to check my website if you are interested in the products like presets actions and color lads. i sell them also through my website and if you are interested a little bit deeper in the retouching, I sell my premium courses, which you can also find in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.